Hi there, Bob Wormsley here. On today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're back in X particles, and I'm going to show you a really useful method of spawning particles. Now, I'm going to show you this in the context of a rain rig with water splashing down and bouncing off other objects, but this actual technique could be used in loads of different scenarios. So let's jump into cinema, we'll start that clock, and we'll get cracking. In our scene, we've got this floor plane and we've got our Insidium Kaiju and Duck models. Let's just make those invisible for now and let's set up this rain. So in our Insidium system, we're going to go to our Emitters tab and let's create an emitter, which brings us this emitter. We'll go to the Object tab. We'll keep it as a rectangle, but we'll change the emitter plane to minus Y, so it's pointing down. And then let's just make this pretty big. So this is where we're going to be emitting our rain from. And then we'll just come out and then let's lift it way up high. Let's go to the emission tab. We're going to keep it at rate. We are going to change the birth rate down to say 250 with 100 variation. And we're going to remove all of the speed. So now if we hit play, we're getting particles, but they're not moving. That's because we're going to use a gravity to pull these down. So let's go to modifiers. We'll go to the motion modifiers and bring in an XP gravity. And now that starts pulling our particles down. Um, let's add some variation of say 150. And now we can actually just switch off visible in editor, which switches off, uh, switches off the gravity icon. Let's go to the emitter display tab and we'll just make a couple of changes. We'll change the editor display from squares to lines and we'll change the color mode from single color to gradient random and um, let's just get rid of these knots we're just going to make some grays here so let's take this first knot and make it a darkish gray and then the lighter knot it can be lighter but not quite white something like that okay so now we have got these line rain particles which is looking cool we now need them to interact with our plane so what we'll do is go to the plane we'll go to tags extensions, insidium tags, and bring in an XP collider. Now, if we hit play just on default, you're gonna see that they bounce off that collider. So what we can do, let's go to the uh, collider tag. We can add some variation to that bounce. We can add a bit of friction with variation, and we can add a bit of scatter, which kind of makes them shoot off at different angles when they bounce, something like that. So now what we want to do is when these rain particles hit the floor plane, we actually want them to spawn lots of splash particles. So the way we do that is we're going to go to our collider tag. We're going to go to look, there's a spawn tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable spawning and we're going to, we could make a new emitter here. We need a new emitter to spawn these new particles. But what we could do is copy this emitter we've already set up. So let's hold control drag and make a copy of that emitter and let's just rename that emitter spawn and back in our collider tag we'll drag in our emitter spawn to here and we're going to look at the settings now we want the new particles to be born at the collision point so that's right the direction we want them actually to go in the direction of the face normal so that's going to be perpendicular to the surface so at the moment straight up but if we add some spread It'll add a bit of spread to that angle. And then everything else we can leave as default. But we want to kill the original rain particle once it's spawned. So let's check on that. Now we've done that, you're going to see that our rain comes down. And we are getting spawned particles, but they're not moving. They're just being spawned on the surface. And that's not right. We need them to splash up. And that's because if we go to our emitter spawn, to the emission tab, they have no speed. So let's increase this up to say, I don't know, 300 with 200 variation. Let's see what that gives us. Here we go. Yep, so now they're splashing upwards. That's looking cool. Um, we could have our splash particles be slightly lighter. Let's go to the display tab and we will go to the first knot and just make this a bit lighter and then go to the second knot and make that even lighter still. And we don't need them to live forever. So let's go to the emission tab and we can deselect full lifespan and give them a lifespan of maybe 20 frames with 10 frames variation. So now we've got our particles coming down 
and there we've got our splashes so obviously you can make adjustments to that if we go to our collision tag we can have more particles spawned let's put it on say 30 now i've got loads more of these splash particles now here's a really cool trick we want to bring in our models now and we want these two to um, have splash particles so what we're going to do instead of copying this tag onto everything what we can do is go to utilities and x particles we can add an XP join and if we then select this eyedropper tool in the join I can click on my kaiju my duck and my plane and now I can move my collision tag from the plane onto the join object and it's going to apply it to all those models so now we're going to have our rain bouncing off the kaiju model the rubber duck model and off that floor plane all off one object so that is our very basic, simple splashing rain rig.